Hey, I'm Jay from the Cubs Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of 60 Seconds. Now, there's no new update to this game. There's no new characters. There's no new ending. There's nothing. I just missed this game. Like, I honestly, genuinely missed this game. 60 Part Sex did come out, and I'm not gonna lie, I've been disappointed in that game. I don't know what it is. It just doesn't have the same feel as 60 Seconds. Like, it doesn't have good old Timmy. It doesn't have Mary Jane. It doesn't have Ted. It doesn't have Dolores. But the reason why I'm jumping back into this game is because, first of all, I want to play it again because I'm in the mood to play some 60 Seconds. But the second reason is I want to see if I still got it. Like, I want to see if I still got the skills that pay the bills. I got to know if I know how to get my endings in this game. So we're going to try it one time on Sarbama mode. We are going to see if we can get an ending in 60 seconds right now. Because cool with that, you down with that. Everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go. All right, guys. So we're doing this on good old Sarbama mode. We got to make sure we get the gun. And we got to get our wifey right over here. And there's cans of soup right in front of the bomb shelter place. Is today my lucky day? And a bottle of water and an axe for that ass. Give me the padlock. I tried to get the padlock, but I got the flashlight just so I can get my good old pancake. That's another thing, too. Like, there's no pancake in 60 part 6. There's like a little robot dog, but he ain't the same, man. He look like a little chihuahua. We don't mess with chihuahuas over here. I got to get the Cub Scout book. And robot gentlemen, you guys didn't rename the Cub Scout book after me. I'm disappointed. I'm a little sad. I'm not going to lie to you. We got to get one more of the Watel right here. And I made it. I didn't make it. I died. Jackass. I said I would do this one try to see if I still got the skills that pay the bills. You got to be smoking me, bro. <laughs> All right. Let's just pretend that first round didn't happen. Okay, guys? Let me just men in black that from your memories. Let's get some of this. And let's get some of that. I'm so glad that the radio is only one hand. I'm glad that Ted got those big old hands. Like, he could grab this axe. He can get a couple cans of soup. You know what I do. Throw those bad boys right in here. Gotta get my red-headed stepchild son. I mean, you're my actual son, Timmy. You're not a stepchild. I didn't adopt you. Let's throw my Cub Scout book and all that jizz jazz over here. Did I say jizz jazz? I apologize. We're keeping it family friendly over here, right? Come on, 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 come on. Ah, uh, you know what? Forget it. I already do have the family. Okay. So we got the map. We got Ted inside. Finally, let the reliving this game challenge, I guess, begin. Day one, ladies and gentlemen, I am so happy to be back in 60 seconds. All of us made it into the shelter just a second before the blast. That was a close one. As long as we're all together, we can make it work down here. We remember hearing canned soup is healthy for you. And you guys all know that I don't read the random notes, but maybe I might sprinkle in a couple reading of the random notes. You never know. We're not going to feed them until about day five and not give them water until day five. See, I still remember, guys. And there are only so many things you can do in a tiny bunker. So we thought, hey, why not play some games? They're not just for kids, you know. See, I read the random notes. I made a 180, guys. I'm a new man. I'm a brand new woman. Day two. Okay, everybody's still looking good. We all looking like hood rats. And this time I'm actually going to send somebody out. But I don't have a gas mask. So somebody's gonna get sick. We had plans to go to Niagara Falls and see those beautiful waterfalls. We never expected to get a waterfall of our very own in our shelter. Right now, it seems that half a dozen pipes burst and all that water is pouring right into our bunker. We need to save our supplies. Okay, so what do we got over here? We got a map, we got some cards, and we got the radio. Obviously, the cards, they don't mean jack. We don't really need those. The map is pretty important, but not really. I remember there were some scenarios where I do need a map. The radio is gonna be the one that's gonna get us an ending, and that's what we're trying to do in this episode. I don't really care what ending we get. I just want to get rescued. Like, I want to feel that winning feeling. All right. And the bunker is pretty much soaked. So we lost the cards and we lost the map, but everything's all good. What we're going to do right now, we are going to send Timmy. No, actually, no. We're going to send Mary Jane, the real MVP of this whole series. As we were considering alternatives to the canned soup diet, a sudden knock at the door broke our line of thought. It turned out we were visited by a band of survivors who were in pretty bad shape. All they wanted was to get something to drink, a bite to eat, or at least clean bandages and medicine to attend to their wounded. Okay, are they going to give us anything? Because we only got three cans of soup and two water. Like, I should slap you right in the face for even asking for anything. But you know what? We're good people out here. Good deeds receive good karma. So that's what we're going to do. Let's see what happened. We've never seen anyone so touched by a simple gift. <laughs> a minute later, those poor people were hugging us like there was no tomorrow. Quite possibly, actually, and thanking us for the gesture. They were eager to repay us, and one of their group offered us a map of the local area. Yes! They claimed it helped them get here, so it brought us luck upon whoever used it. We promised we will give it a try and wish them a safe journey. See what I tell you guys. We got a map because we gave a can of food. 
that is worth way more than the food to be honest because we're always gonna have the map anytime a scenario with the map comes up boom we already did it because of what we did and also we got to give soup and wata we actually i gotta say how i used to hold up let's do that again i gotta give them soup and wata the radio of ours has been silent for the past few hours we need our news we need our music we all agree on that and if it's refusing to cooperate we need to meddle with it until it works now i remember that scenario you do not fix it until it works you just let it do its thing and then if it happens to work later happens to work later if you touch it it's just gonna like spray all over the place our patience is wearing thin we thought it would be a good idea to take a quick look outside this is the pancake scenario i can never forget that i can never forget my cute little cuddly pancake and it's day eight and mary jane's not here i don't think she's coming back guys we decided to check what's coming with our flashlight and guess what it was a dog see Sometimes you never forget. Old dogs don't forget new tricks. Is that how it goes? I have no idea. We can keep sitting on our backside here in this tiny little bunker, or we can start thinking about getting away as far as possible from this radioactive wasteland. Okay, I think that once we click the scenario, it's going to be the beginning to the military ending. Or it could tell us that the fallout outside is gone, but Mary Jane is back. She's looking great as ever. And what did you give us? She got us two cans of soup and two cans of water. Okay. So, for doing a good job, I'm gonna give you some of that. Actually, wait, wait, wait. Let's feed everybody on day 10, you know? We're gonna have everybody in sync. Let's prepare to scavenge. And more random notes. See, if she can live one more day without me feeding or giving her water, then why not try to get away with it? See? She's still alive after 10 days. And since it is the next five days in the cycle, gotta give them some of that. And we're gonna send good old Timmy. If Dolores or Ted live and the kids die, that's fine with me. Day 11. What's that sound? A galloping horse? We rushed to the door and were greeted by two men dressed like they'd come from a medieval fair. We identified the source of the sound. One of them was holding two rocks and hitting them against each other constantly, while the other was skipping and pretending to be a rider. They said they're looking for some antique cup, but they got lost and they would be most grateful if we would let them check our map, provided we have one. Well, today is your lucky day, my good men, because we have a map that you can check and you better give us something good. Good. They gave us a med Oh, so now we can get pancake. Oh my goodness. This is Sarbama. This is my lucky freaking day Scratching at the door could only mean one thing our dog friend is back. Nice. We actually don't have that many cans of soup But you know what we value pancakes life over our own and that's how we're gonna roll day 14 It's high time We stopped wondering about what's going on and started asking questions or at least listen to some reasonable answers So how about tuning into a radio station and learning a thing or two about the brave new world? Okay, so this is basically gonna make the fallout outside gone So nobody gonna get sick if they go outside and speaking of outside timmy is back i see that big ass jug of water right there on the right so good job my good man he gave us three waters and a suitcase timmy let me ask you something when you're out scavenging instead of picking up like i don't know food or maybe some more medicine you see a suitcase and you're like hey maybe i should bring this back to my family what is wrong with you timmy don't bring the freaking suitcase if i don't tell you to but you know what? You did good, kid. You did good. So I'm going to give everybody food and water. And you know what? Mary Jane, you're going outside again. We're playing the Russian roulette. And unfortunately, your number was called. So you're going outside again. Hopefully, she brings back food. Or hopefully, she at least rolls her lifeless body inside the bunker so she could be food for them. I mean, that would be the ultimate sacrifice as a family member, right? Like, if I was on my last legs, I'd let my family eat me. I don't care. I'd let them eat me all day. I'd let them eat my ass. Day 19. Hey, it's Pancake. Our friend is back, but he seems very nervous, and he keeps barking and jumping. When we opened the door, he rushed out only to come back a moment later and bark at us again. Maybe we should follow him? What gear shall we take? Okay, this one has got me a little messed up. I think the map takes us to a place where he can find us food, but maybe I'm imagining things. I don't know what the gun does. I feel like it scares him. And the axe might be useful. I think the axe is like the safe choice, but I'm going to go with the map. Let's see what happens there. That's one of the ones that I forgot what happens. A well-prepared hiker always takes a map. That's what we always say. Thanks to our trusty Atlas, we were able to take a look at the devastation on our town and get back home, or rather shelter, just in time for dinner. Pancake tagged along for a while, but left before we got to the bunker, and we didn't get anything. No, we got soup. Okay, so if we take the map, we're going to get at least a couple cans of soup. Yes! Oh, that was so freaking clutch. Okay, let's give the family all of that since it's day 20. And mysterious sounds are coming from our radio, but they're hidden behind a ton of static. Do we want to tinker with it a bit? No. As soon as you said tinker, that's the trigger word. As soon as you guys see the word tinker or metal or just try to fix the radio, just forget it. Just click that big fat X. And see right here, guys? Tinkering with our precious radio sounds like a bad idea. Yeah, it's a real, real bad. 
It's nothing but the bad news. You maniacs, you blew it up. Ah, damn you. Damn you all to hell. That's something we should have told our neighbors when they blew up their BBQ last spring. Those were good times, even if they wasted a perfectly good barbecue. See, I told you guys I'm going to read the random notes. I'm going to read them randomly. I'm randomly going to read the random notes. And it's day 22. Mary Jane hasn't come back. She's a goner. Pancake came back, but he's badly wounded. Okay, we are going to click on the med kit. We're going to wind it up, guys, because we are going to welcome Pancake into the bunker. Look at that cute ass dude, that big tongue. Hey, what's up, Pancake? Oh, man, I missed you. I miss pancakes so much. There's no pancake in 60 part 6. Just that ugly little robot chihuahua. <laughs> that chihuahua is nasty too. I bet he got a stank ass and just bad breath, you know? Yellow robotic teeth. Somebody's knocking at the door, so we're going to figure out who it is. There's nothing more surprising than a knock on a fallout shelter door. Who could it be? Should we investigate and risk our very lives? That sounds like a good idea. Shall we open the door? Hell no. I'm playing this on Sarvama, guys. I'm not answering any door. That could be Freddy Krueger on the other side. Even if it was a good guy, there's no way I'm risking it. The banging stopped after a while, and whoever was behind the door left. We have no idea who it was. Will we ever find out? I don't know, and honestly, I do not care. We were able to catch the military broadcast again. This time, they're asking us to get out with a flashlight and signal to the plane after it gets dark. If all goes well, they'll be able to find us. Sounds like we'll be leaving soon. Okay, just turn on your red flashlight in the air and say, Help! Help! Day 30. We could really use some more supplies. We counted all of them today, and the numbers did not make us happy. Time to do something about it. We know that a teacher from a local school managed to rescue a bunch of kids. You know what? You're setting a bad example for all the viewers out there. Killing some kids and some teachers for some food? I mean, I'd do it. I'd do a little stabby stabby. I don't care. I'm kidding. FBI, it's a joke, okay? I'm trying to get some lulz. Hopefully you laughed at it too. Don't be knocking at my door. Robbing innocent people? Absolutely not. We are not savages. I'm a savage. I'm a freaking savage. Everybody always tells me every day I'm a savage. But Timmy came back. He brought back cards. I'm about to wipe your ass with those cards, Timmy. Are you kidding me? Dude, we're running out of soup and food, and you brought back some stinking good-for-nothing smelly cards? I should slap you with the whole deck! Are you joking me? Dude, no way. All right, you know what, Timmy? Fine. No way. That's crazy. Today, we found a letter from what seems to be other survivors. They claim they mean us no harm and want to get to know us better. They're asking us to choose one person to represent us and come to a meeting tonight, unarmed. We're a bit worried, but they could be friendly. Should we go? You know what, Ted? You haven't done anything all episode, so I'm going to send you out there. You look like Grizzly Adams with that big beard, you know? Do you kiss Dolores with that beard? Does she tickle when you're behind her butthole with that beard? Like, I don't even know. But it's true. It's all true. There really are others just like us. And we're going to rendezvous with them. But we got to do a couple things first. So we got to make sure we have all the items that we need. So what we're going to do, guys, we're going to prepare to scavenge one more time. And Pancake has been barking and barking for hours. Yes. Anytime he barks, what I've learned from this whole series and just playing this many times, let him out. Let him do his thing. Let his dick swing. And he's going to come back with something good. Watch. He came back with a can of soup. See? I wish I could pet you on the head, Pancake. You are the MVP every single time. You never do anything bad. And speaking of doing something bad... Ooh, who am I going to send out? Uh, you know what? Redheads got to stay together, Ted. We were afraid the army wouldn't get back to us, but they eventually did. The next transmission was full of evacuation promises, but it ended on a big if. The speaker requested that any survivors' groups armed with firearms should dispose of them before they get rescued. Okay, so with this scenario, we got to get rid of our gun. I remember when I first started playing this, I was like, there's no way I'm giving up my gun. It's one of my only lines of defense in case raiders come. I didn't know that you needed to get rid of the gun to get the ending. I thought it was an option, but it really isn't an option. It's mandatory. You got to get rid of the gun in order to get rescued by the military. So we're almost there. Day 39, and I'm going to wait one more day to give them water and food. And it would be a good idea to let Pancake out? Sure, I'll let you out. Just bring back one more can of soup, Pancake, please. Because we're running low. The supply is running low. Don't bark at me like that. Don't give me attitude. Whoa, what the heck? He brought back a med kit. All right. Good job, Pancake. What a real freaking trooper. Day 44. Hey, Pancake, who's a good boy? Wait a minute. Is he hungry? No way. I only have one and a quarter left of soup. Pancake, you know what? I'm trying to get a good ending, man. You can understand that, right? Like, I'll let you lick the gooch between my ass and my balls, but you can't have any soup because I barely have anything left, man. I'm sorry. We really loved having that dog around. We really did. But without soup, his behavior got, well, odd. But he's right there. What? He's still chilling. He's happy. What? Oh, so I guess he ran away, but he's still there. 
Come on, dude. When Dolores came back from that expedition the other day, she had a tiny scratch on her leg? When did you come back from an expedition? Okay, I guess she got hurt from a random expedition she went on. So we're gonna use the med kit that MVP Pancake brought, and we're gonna heal your leg. That is so weird. And Pancake's still here. He didn't run away from me. Pancake's so freaking awesome, man. I should throw Dolores to the wolves for scratching her leg on some random expedition. The dog woke us up a few times during the night. He's pretty restless and probably wants to go out. Should we let him? Of course you should. Because he is going to come back with the most amazing things. Last time he came back with a med kit. This time he'll probably come back with a bazooka. Watch. He came back with water. Still good. And that's as good as a bazooka to be honest. And there's still raiders outside. When are they ever going to go away? And we made it to day 50, guys, on Sarbama. Are you guys proud of me? Wow. 50 days in on Sarbama without having played this in a long time. And of course, raiders come. As soon as I start getting cocky, raiders are at the door. But luckily for me, I got a padlock on an axe. So come get me. Come get your boy. You're not going to get in here. I got a padlock, and I have an axe, and I have pancake, and I have Timmy. I have four lines of defense. I'm pretty sure we're going to get an ending by then. So come at me, man. You ain't going to do shit. Day 51. The friendly group came today to say that the camp is almost complete, but they need a few more items to make the place really worth living in. It's mostly about the children. Man, you know what? Forget the children. We're going to give a harmonica. Let's see who's going to get an STD with everybody's mouth all over that harmonica, huh? Not only are musical instruments fun, this one is also historically significant. Harmonica was the instrument of choice of several American presidents. Let's hope the kids appreciate that and treat the mouth organ with respect it deserves. Have you guys ever played a harmonica? I don't think I've ever tried one. Hey, Pancake, who's a good boy? Oh, come on. I got to feed Pancake again? This game really knows how to make you feel bad. Like, it really knows how to make you feel bad. And now Pancake's gone. No! Damn. Two strikes and you're out. Soup or pancake? Pancake or soup? Decisions like that are never easy, but you got to do what you got to do. The dog did not appreciate our debate. He ran off in search for soup and never came back. Has he found some in the wasteland? We shall never know. Oh, pancake. My heart aches for you every single day. I'm so sorry, buddy. We need to get rescued fast in honor of pancake. I wish he would have just stayed. We're probably going to get rescued any day now, but I bet you since the raiders came, they're going to be here on this day. Watch. Watch. No? They're not here? Okay. They're going to come on this day. Watch. Okay, guys. So here's our situation. It is day 59. We have no more food. We have no gun, no axe, no padlock, no pancake, a dying Timmy. And I'm pretty sure the raiders are going to come. So this is a really bad scenario to be in right now. And someone is at the door. We cannot hear what they're saying, but they have been banging on it like crazy. Yes. I'm pretty sure it's either the twins or the military. Everybody put your hands up in the air like you just don't care. And it's the military. I haven't played this game in so long. And we played this on Sarbama and we got an ending first try. That's what I'm talking about. Safe. Safe at last. The military came to our rescue and took us away from this hellhole. It was our home for a little while, but we can't say we'll miss that tiny shelter. We don't know if our future is bright, but if it is, let's just hope it's more nukes lighting up the sky. We held out for 60 days. 60 days of Sarbom. I haven't played this game in a while, and it was... Oh, so good. Satisfying ending. You survived. Dolores is looking into the future. And man, that was just a great play. All right, guys, but that's going to do it for this episode of 60 Seconds. I don't really know what made me want to play this game again. I was just on Steam, and I think I saw it, and I was like, man, I really miss playing that game. There's no real reason for me to be playing it, but I fired it up anyway, turned on the camera, and I was like, you know what? Let's just try one run. Let's see how we can do in one run on Sarbama. But if you guys enjoyed this episode of 60 Seconds and when I started it back in 2015, make sure you guys give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude!